Hey everybody, this is Tech Guy Charlie. Welcome to the channel. So, as you guys know, this video is gonna be about good luck. So, before we begin, I would suggest that you go to the Galaxy Store and download the main good luck app. And as we proceed, I'm gonna show you which modules to download. Alright, so let's begin. Okay, so check this keyboard out. That looks absolutely cool, right? And believe it or not, this is actually the built in Samsung keyboard. So, the good luck module that allows you to customize the Samsung keyboard is called Keys Cafe. So, you'll need to download this. Once you do, open it and go into Style Your Own Keyboard. So, here you've got a couple of pre installed themes, but if you are not satisfied with all of these, then you can create your very own theme by tapping on the plus button. And it's actually really easy to customize. Tap on these circles and change the color of the particular element on the keyboard. And if you spend some time, you can come up with really nice looking keyboard that suits your personality. So, take a look at this. And keep in mind you'll have to design for both dark and the light mode. And once you are done, don't forget to save and give it a name. And if you want to add some colorful effects, tap on effects and choose whichever one you like from over here. And yeah, this is how you customize the Samsung keyboard and make it look awesome. I've also noticed that the Samsung keyboard doesn't have a dedicated button for sending emojis. You'll have to enable the keyboard toolbar to see the emoji button. But the problem is the keyboard toolbar takes up additional space. So, what we can do is add a dedicated emoji button to the keyboard itself so that it's easier to send emojis while texting. So, in the Keys Cafe module, tap on Make Your Own Keyboard. Then tap on Simple Keyboard and then tap on the Edit button. Now here you can customize pretty much any aspect of the keyboard. You can even change the size of the keys. Now that is awesome. Now, to add a dedicated emoji button to your keyboard, Tap the icon that looks like a ruler and a pencil. Now from this list, drag and drop the emoji icon to wherever you feel comfortable. I'm gonna place it here. And finally, we can give it some finishing touches to make it look good. And as always, don't forget to save and give it a name. And there you go. Now you can access your emojis just by tapping on this button and you don't have the keyboard toolbar taking up space at the top of the keyboard. Alright, so next, you want to go into the Good Lock app and then tap on Life Up. And here, download and install the nice short module. Once you do, open it and enable the Add Delete button option. So now when you take a screenshot, you'll notice a dedicated delete button in the screenshot panel. Very, very useful. So back in 2011, I had this phone from Sony and whenever you'd switch the screen on, it had this really cool CRT effect which I absolutely loved. Sadly, none of the phones that I've owned after this, even Sony ones did not have the CRT effect. But now we can get this effect on our Samsung Galaxy smartphone using good luck. Check this out. That is awesome, right? So let me show you how you can get this. Alright, so what you want to do is head on into the Good Lock app and then download and install the Wonderland module. Now inside the Wonderland module, you want to select the lock screen effect option. And you're going to see a couple of pre-installed wallpapers with their own effects. But if you want to create your very own, tap on the new button and then pick a picture that you want to use as the wallpaper from the gallery. Once you do, pick the effect that you want from this list. My personal favorite is the CRT effect but you've got a lot of effects to choose from. And once you are satisfied, tap on the save button and give the wallpaper a name. And finally save it. Then set as wallpaper. And that is pretty much it. Now you will see the effect that you have created whenever you wake the phone up. And that looks awesome. You can also do some really amazing customization for the always on display. This good lock module comes with awesome clock styles which look really cool. And not to mention you can also add widgets to the always on display. So we can put the pedometer, to do list or the weather widget right on the always on display. That is awesome. So let me show you how. 
Alright, so to customize the always on display, you'll need to download the lock star module. This module is awesome and here you can customize both the lock screen and the always on display. First, let me show you the settings for the always on display and then I will show you the lock screen. So inside, tap on the clock and then tap on this button to change how it looks. And as you can see, you've got a ton of clock styles to choose from. Way more than what Samsung has to offer in the settings. So pick whichever one suits your personality. But you know what? The most important thing is that you can add a standard widget to your always on display. So let's remove this so I can show you how to add. Okay, so tap here and select add widget. Now pick any widget from this list. For demonstration, let's add the Samsung Notes widget so that we can have a note on our always on display. Okay, so now select a note by tapping on change and once you do, turn off match with dark mode and make the widget transparent and then save. Now resize the widget so that it fits and then save. And there you go. Now you've got a cool clock and a widget on the always on display. That is awesome. And the same concept applies to the lock screen. So here you can change the clock. So pick one from the list. Then you can also reposition the clock and the notifications. I think many people are gonna find this super useful. And just like the always on display, you can also add a widget to your lock screen. Lastly, you can even change the number of shortcuts that appear at the bottom of the screen. Amazing. This is what I call next level customization. I absolutely love this. Now, you also might have noticed the date along with the clock in the status bar. And I think having the date here is quite useful because it will always be there whenever you are using an app on your phone. See what I'm talking about? So let's head on into the Good Lock app and the module that lets you customize the status bar is called Quick Start. So this is the module that you need to download. Once you do, open it and tap on the clock settings. And here, enable show date to see the date in the status bar. And you've also got a couple of settings to play around like you can also change its position from left to right or completely hide the clock from the status bar which is nice if you are into minimalistic things. Now, the customization doesn't stop here. You can go into the visibility of indicator icons and select the icons that you wanna see in the status bar, which I think is great. And not to mention that you can customize the colors of the quick panel using the style your own quick panel option. Here, you can pick a theme from the recommended list or if you are not satisfied with these, Tap on the plus button to create your very own. And if you are patient and spend enough time, I think you can come up with a really nice colorful theme that matches your personality. And not to mention that you have to create the theme for both light and the dark mode. So after saving and applying the theme, this is how our quick panel looks. I know, I know the color combination sucks, but you kind of get the idea. But hey, at least it matches with the wallpaper. Now, if you want to take things further and design a complete theme for your phone, then you might want to download the theme park module because this is going to allow you to create your own custom theme from scratch. So here is the custom theme that I've been working on. And as you can see, you can customize a lot of aspects of the UI. Now it's not perfect because I couldn't figure out how to customize the dialer, system menu, and a few more aspects of the phone. But nonetheless, this will let you create your very own theme from scratch. And one more thing that I like is that you can also customize the volume panel. So take a look at my volume panel. It looks awesome, right? So in the theme park app, you want to go to the volume panel and make your very own from over here. So yeah, using the theme park app, you can make your phone look awesome. So you might have noticed that Samsung only allows you to have a maximum of five icons at the bottom of the screen. But check this out. We can tweak this and have eight icons in the favorites panel, which is at the bottom of the screen. And doing this will free up more space for your widgets and the wallpaper. So the module that allows you to customize the home screen is called home up. So in the home up module, you want to go to the home screen settings and then favorite max count and change this to how many icons you want to fit at the bottom of the screen. I've set this to eight, but I think the sweet spot is six or seven. You can also do the same for the icons that appear on the home screen as well as on the apps screen grid. 
So in the home map module, you want to go into home screen and then home screen grid. So right now it is set to five into six. That is five icons in the horizontal row and six in the vertical row. I think six into six is a good idea because then you'll be able to fit six icons horizontally on the home screen. And if you want to fit more icons on the apps screen, you can tweak them from the apps screen grid setting. And this is a personal choice. So please tweak this as per your liking. Now in the home up module, another thing that you should do is head on into the folder options and enable the pop up folder. So what happens is when you open a folder on your home screen, it kind of takes over the entire screen of the phone. But when you enable this option and then open the folder, you'll see that it opens in a pop up and it doesn't take over the entire screen. And I think this is a far better option. Now, if you're not a fan of the rounded corners, then what you can do is go back into the pop up folder settings and then tap on pop up folder. So from here, you can tweak how the pop up is going to look like. So yeah, looks much better without the rounded corners. And finally, if you head on into the task changer, you'll be able to change the layout of the recent apps. So by default, if you open the recents menu, you get a list of apps that you can swipe left or right. You can change this to the grid layout if you like seeing a lot of apps on one page. The next layout is stack and you'll have to swipe like this. You know what? I actually like this. Then you've got the vertical list, which looks like this, and you'll have to swipe up and down. And finally, you've got the slim list, which I think no one should ever select. And I think I'm going to keep this on stack because I like this layout. So yeah, lots of customization available for your Samsung Galaxy. All right, so you might have noticed that when you have an app open in the pop up view, like for example, let's open the camera in the pop up view and start recording a video. Now watch carefully. If we launch another app in the pop up view, like let's try and launch WhatsApp in the pop up view, you'll notice that the camera gets minimized and the video recording stops. And I don't know about you guys, but I want to use other apps while the camera keeps on recording a video. So to prevent pop ups from getting minimized, you want to go to life up in the good Lock app and download the multi star module here, scroll down and enable the prevent pop up view from minimization. And that's it. Now, if you open the camera in the pop up view and start recording a video, it will stay open and keep recording the video. Even if you try and open other apps in the pop up view. So check that out. The camera is still recording the video. And I think this is a super useful feature that I think everyone should enable. Now in the multi star module, one more setting that you should absolutely enable is remove blur effect while adjusting split view. So once you enable this, it will remove the annoying blur effect whenever you adjust the size of the apps that are running in the split view mode. You know what? In my opinion, it looks much better without the blur effect. Now, if you've got a Galaxy Note or the S22 or the S23 Ultra, then you should absolutely download the Pentastic module because this is going to unlock a lot of cool customization features for the S Pen. So first off, you can change the looks of the Air command menu, which is what pops up whenever you remove the S Pen from your phone. Now, my favorite is the retro style and I think it looks really cool. The next thing you can do is change the pointer that appears whenever you bring the S Pen up close to the screen. I like the basic one because it looks like a mouse. Lastly, you can also configure what happens when you press and hold the button on the S Pen and double tap the screen. I like the option that lets you create a new note, but you can change this to whatever you feel like. You can set this to launch apps. There are plenty of options available to choose from. Now check this out. I'm going to double tap the back of the phone and watch what happens. So double tapping the back of the phone takes a screenshot and opens the share panel. Now tapping the back of the phone thrice opens the gallery. So that is awesome. So to configure what happens when you tap the back of the phone, go to life up and download the Registar module. Inside the Registar module, you want to go into back tap action. From here, you can assign different actions depending on what happens when you double tap or triple tap the back of your phone. 
One more awesome tweak of the Registar module is that you can configure what happens when you long press the side key on your smartphone. So right now if I long press the side key it turns on the flashlight. The best part about this is that you can turn the flashlight on even if the screen is switched off. So there you go. Now to configure open the Registar module, go to side key, press and hold action and assign any action from over here but I think the flashlight is the best option. Alright so with that we have come to the end of the video. I really wanted to limit this video under 10 minutes but yeah I think this video is gonna become 14 or 15 minutes. Anyways if this video was educational and if you have enjoyed make sure to hit the like button, share the video and subscribe to the channel. And this is Tech Guy Charlie signing off.